Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as Goalie in this one. We're against Kyra, Bucket, Crow and Lennox. Quite a solid uh, little team. Uh, we're on Broken Hill Mine, which is a bit of a greenish rocky map, which is calls for bog. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I, I think we did bog recently, but fuck it. I actually do like this skin. I think it's one of the better ones, to be quite honest. One of the, one of the better base skins, anyway. Um, yes, we have an attack support in this one. We find a bucket, we have a decent medic, we have a trapper that sort of just exists against Goliath. Crow doesn't really have any sort of anti-synergy towards Goliath, so he just sort of exists, as I say. So Lennox is quite decent all around, but she can struggle to land uh, Thunderstrike on Goliath in some cases, because he's very fast. So you know. We're going to go straight ahead on this one. I always go over there because there's always a corpse and there is one there, but it's fine. We get birds straight away, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Ooh, triple stack. Hit the jackpot there. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have a hot topic for you for this video. Oh boy, here we go. Right. So, if you have been enlightened to the, new, the recent news surrounding our oh-so-ingenious and, you know, foundational asymmetrical competitor that has latched onto the genre like a parasite and won't actually let anything else, you know, that does actually have good content in it get a lead, um, Dead by Daylight has added a new game mode. And that's, the, that's what they're all calling it, because that's a piece of the comedy that I'm going to get to in a minute. So, they have added a new game mode. Emphasis on game mode here, fellas. Okay, I just I, I, that's part of the point here. I really want to just hammer that home, you know, when I say game mode. Ooh, ability cooldowns, so that's going to be good. I don't want to alert these birds, because I would like to evolve in here. I'll do. So yes, they've added a new game mode. What is this game mode? Well, for the past eight years, what we've basically done in Dead by Daylight is run around in fucking circles, being chased by badly animated characters, as badly animated characters. So, as this new... Did not like how close they were. Uh, um... Yes, so... They have added this new game mode. My thoughts are now sporadic because I need to um, concentrate a minute on getting some armor. Uh, so what does it do? Right, basically, all they've done is they have made the, the base game mode. They've, to they've taught the base game mode, right, let me just start again here. They've added a new game mode and basically what they've done is Dead by Daylight, the way it has been for the past eight years, they have sat down at a table and thought, right, people want new game modes for this game. They want, you know, they want a new experience within the world of Dead by Daylight. So what they've done is they've sat around a table and they've thought, right, the core experience of Dead by Daylight, where you hold M1 on generators for 90% of the match or run around in circles, that doesn't need to be changed. Everybody's still fucking in love with that. You know, it's phenomenal gameplay. Um, they have took that and basically what they have done is they've turned the fucking lights off and called it a new game mode because what they've done is they've darkened the map and that's it that is literally it they have darkened the map and called it a new fucking game mode now there are some obvious differences here that you know i'm just taking the piss out of but they've removed killer terror radiuses they've removed perks from the game mode which actually might be beneficial for the game because the game itself is fucking unbalanced to begin with due to perks um so maybe that is actually a positive in that in that regard uh did i get him down there yeah i did we don't get splashed that's fine get out because i'm losing hp um so they've disabled perks they've also disabled flashlights and this they but they assure you this will make Dead by Daylight an atmospheric and terrifying experience. You know, because we play Dead by Daylight as a horror game in this day and age, you know. We're all terrified of it. It's a fucking horror game, you know. Uh, <laughs> it just makes me laugh at that. 
it's like it's like boomer development, you know, where they're like, oh, this game's terrifying, isn't it, guys? It's terrifying, you know. You're running around in circles, and it's you know, it's just there's there's no horror element to it at all, apart from hooking people, which is the only vaguely uh, you know horror-like aspect of the game. Um, but yeah, they, they, they basically they, what they've done is they flip the fucking light switch off. Now, what hurts about this? I don't necessarily mind it as much as I'm shitting on it here. Like it is something new, and I do actually appreciate that. But the comments in the community, the Steam community, is what fucking hurts the most because they're all there praising this like it's some massive fucking thing. Like it's. A new game mode it's like holy shit this is groundbreaking you know and all that and it's like what the fuck they've basically turned the fucking lights off literally disabled flashlights which doesn't make a blind bit of difference anyway because every time a new update comes out for this game the fucking flashlights break and they get disabled anyway so what's the point it's basically just the same fucking thing they've just turned the lights out and disabled the killer terror radius music which is one of the, the only things that I enjoy of the game anyway just listening to that you know, it's like fucking hell. So basically, this this groundbreaking new game mode is basically they've taken run around in circles from a badly animated character to run around in circles from a badly animated character, but you see less. That's literally it. It's fucking hell. And there's people praising this shit, and it's like. You know, as a 27 year old gamer at this point, I do accept that I'm turning into a bit of a fucking boomer, you know, in terms of gameplays, but I'm gonna sound like the old person here when I say that we fucking had it a lot better, lads. We really did. You've seen it on your screen, what we had, you know. But everybody's running around in fucking circles when we could be doing this shit, and like, you know, everybody's okay with that. It's, it's like being in a fucking nightmare, honestly, where mediocrity was like normalized and accepted over something genuinely great like this because if you imagine all the new monster concepts and all the new hunter concepts that would have been in this game with the world it's set in as well actual king of the asim genre material right here i'm telling you still is as far as i'm concerned because I mean, put it this way, from my perspective, this game still still is better than Dead by Daylight after eight years of development. Like, there's just it's just more fun. Like, there's actual gameplay. I'm not sitting, you know, in one particular place and running around in circles as gameplay. It's combat, you know, on your screen. Not, you know, run around in circles for a couple of laps of this fucking, you know, bit of trash that's on the floor and then drop the bit of wood that stops this supposedly unstoppable killer, you know, from getting to me and then run into the next location and rinse and repeat and that is literally the gameplay. The only alternative in which is to hold M1 on a fucking generator all game. But there it is. As with the League uh, of Legends video that went out earlier today, I will be, you know, that's, that's the explanation I promised you in that video. At home in the genre. Grab her out of the air. But I just I can't take anybody seriously, anybody at all on the internet who thinks that Dead by Daylight is better than this. Does I'm not talking about you know what's alive and what isn't. I'm talking about actual game quality and you know animation and attention to detail and just genuine fucking finesse that goes into the the, the game itself. Because put it this way, like 90%, well not 90%, that's just hyperbolic, but a good decent portion of killers in Dead by Daylight are recycled versions of each other in both abilities and animations. And I am somebody as a gamer who likes animation quality and, you know, characters and everything that's like, you know, everything that makes a particular character special like animations is what I'm talking about. So obviously with this game you, you've got monster animations like hundreds of animations for each monster that all give it personality yet in Dead by Daylight you can play as like three or four killers and they have the same fucking animations it's like I'm, I'm like as, as, as people who play Dead by Daylight this might sound like I'm attacking your game but I am but it's for your benefit because I genuinely want something that's better for you 
if you know what I mean. But people aren't fucking waking up. And that's what bothers me. Shit. Missed him. And it does go as far as, you know, me saying that if Dead by Daylight was actually well made and it did actually have attention to detail that it's proclaimed to have by its player base, sweet summer ch uh, children, um, I would not be slagging it off. I would not take the piss out of it. I would enjoy it as I did in 2016. But now, in 2024, it looks dated, whereas this game that came out a year fucking before it doesn't look dated. It still looks like it could come out today. I just repeat myself every time though, but it's fucking obvious to me. We do get a splash on him there. We don't get that because she jumped up, that's fine. That's gonna be death probably. Yep, there it is. Well, yeah, there is my thoughts on that. Here comes the summary that isn't going to be, um, you know, spaghetti language because I, I record the commentary live as I'm playing the game, so my me, me concentration's pulled elsewhere. But just to summarise for you, um, in a bit more of a level-headed way, and you know, <laughs> well, to an extent, but I still stand by it when I say that this is fucking just a massive step down for me, quite honestly. Anyway, so. Dead by Daylight has introduced a new game mode. This is what the community is calling it. Um, I will say now that, you know, as we've got more rooms to concentrate here, that the developers themselves don't call it a game mode, they call it a modifier. But at the same time, it is, it's presented as though it is a new game mode. And all it is, and I mean all, all it is, is they have turned the fucking lights off. That is literally it. Yeah, they put a dark filter over four of the maps because only four of the maps are actually fucking playable in this mode. It's not across every map in the game, so you get stripped down to four maps as well. There's no terror radiuses for killers, which means you don't get the atmospheric music you can jam out to. Uh, whilst you, you know, what, what builds suspense when the kills approaching, they just fucking pop out of the darkness in this mode. So there's no preparation or ambience or atmosphere, you know. That, even though you don't fucking have any to begin with anyway. But um, that's a thing, they've disabled that. They have removed scratch marks, so good luck fucking finding anybody as a killer, because it's in the dark as well, it's dark for you as the killer. So I don't know how people are going to be finding um, survivors as the killer. Uh, they've disabled perks, which, as I said in the game, I do think that this is probably just a positive. I think the game without perks, or maybe stripped down to what Evolve actually has, where it is only like nine perks, just the, the ones that, you know, have genuine game impact, rather than like 90% of the perk roster in Dead by Daylight that's just actual fucking filler, because there's only like a handful of them that are actually used anyway at all levels of the game. The rest of them are just sort of sat there in everybody's inventory doing fuck all, and they get tweaked every now and then for some reason, like people are using them. Um, so the perks are disabled in that mode, so I do consider that to be a positive, because perkless gameplay means it's actual mechanical skill you need, rather than just endless fucking second chances on the survivor side, or, you know, perks like Noed, for example, where you can actually do well against the killer, but they just kill you at the end anyway, because they can one it down you, that sort of thing. Uh, so I do believe that perk, di uh, but perk disabling is actually quite a positive in that regard. Uh, they've disabled flashlights just as a thematic theme that it's in the dark and you know this is as I said in the thing what made me got a bit of a giggle at me when they say that it makes it a new terrifying experience and it's like <laughs> it's 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 not like it's I'm not like picking things apart for the sake of picking things apart but I am not when I say Dead by Daylight has never been fucking scary. The only way it was ever scary was back when there was only the three killers and maybe once or twice when you was you was on the old Coldwind farm. If you've not seen what the old Coldwind farm is in Dead by Daylight, I do consider that to be better than the fucking daytime bright Texas Chainsaw Massacre look that they went for. Because that's very obviously what they were going for with the uh, the rework for Coldwind Farm. 
the old Coldwind farm was actually dark. It took place at night and it was murky and it was like really rustic and really orange and looking. And that was actually a decent design for the farm because it, it looked hopeless and it looked shit, you know, in a good way. It looked like it had all gone to shit. It was dark and it was murky and it was very well made. As were a lot of maps back in the original, um, you know, days when it was around the time it was released because back then it was treated more as a horror game rather than a party fucking Super Smash Brothers of horror game, you know, where these days it's just, uh, I don't know, it's like fucking, I don't even know, like fucking Demon Art or something, <laughs> these days where there's like just every character imaginable in the game and it's just, I mean, it's, there's a lot of people who consider it a positive and in certain aspects I can see yeah it is positive because you've got really these really popular characters all in one space which is really good but at the same time it's just it has no identity anymore if you know what I mean like it's just the same fucking thing every release but painted to be licensed or unlicensed you know based on you know whatever gets released but yeah um, that's basically what they've done they've, they've turned the fucking lights off. They flipped a light switch and everybody's got started, you know, coming to the comments and being like, yeah, yeah, you know, they've turned the lights off. It's a new game mode at long fucking last. You know, uh, fellas, it took your developers eight years to find the fucking light switch, but you're here cheering. <laughs> As though it's a big fucking thing. <sighs> Jesus fucking wept. God save me. I, it really is a case of the fact that, like I said in a video a couple of a couple of weeks ago now, that sometime towards the end of 2015, just after this game came out, uh, and people were actually playing it, the initial hype wave and that, towards the end of that there was a time where I went to sleep one night and I got transported to the shittest fucking timeline imaginable, and here I am. Because it makes no fucking sense to me whatsoever how we dipped this fucking this like this we dipped this hard in this genre to the point where we're being chased by giant fucking teddy bears with knives at this point. Now that's an incorrect dig, as, as I say, because I've got videos of me playing as Naughty Bear and praising it on my channel. But I'm I'm using it as an example, you know, where we've got a horror game that is doing shit that's outlandish like that, which in itself is good for me, but at the same time it's not because it's weird, you know, it's, it deviates too far for me from the identity of the actual game itself. It's good, it's fun, like, don't get me wrong, it is actually quite fun to run around as a teddy bear, and that's funny, but it's just, it, the, 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 the bear itself uses the trapper animations, the first killer's animations, and they do this repeatedly every single time there is a humanoid male character that has any sort of passing resemblance in body shape to the original killer and that's what pisses me off they don't make new animations for killers the only time they do actually make new animations is when say the singularity for example he has good animations you can he has good sounds that matches those animations as well so he sounds heavy and he looks heavy when he's walking but there is also a unified problem in the animation department. This is all ADHD deviation here. I'm starting to really, you know, deviate because these are all the problems I have with Dead by Daylight and why I always pick it apart and critique it because this is dead, but Dead by Daylight isn't. But what I will say, and I will not accept any argument against this because this is very obvious. I've heard other streamers say this as well, and I will not. I will die on this hill, basically, when I say... A specific killer in that game is the absolute example of very shit animation quality. And when I say that, there's probably quite a few people who actually do know who I'm talking about already. And she is known as the Skull Merchant. So if you haven't seen what this killer is, and I want you to picture what you've just seen on your screen now in this game with the animation quality. Again, and this game came out a year before Dead by Daylight with this particular killer that has very bad animations coming out about a year ago from now, I think it was. About, I think it was like this time last year. So that's like seven years after this game. So if you've not seen the Skull Merchant, she has 
these sort of feminine animations, which I don't mind, right? Because obviously it's part of a character. She's supposed to be sort of like a sex appeal sort of character. That's, you know, she's a bit of a femme fatale sort of thing. But when you see her in game, the animations aren't aligned properly with the actual character movement. So she has this walk cycle that fucking glides very obviously along the floor. And this is a trait that happens with 99% of killers in that game. The only killers that I know that don't have very glidey or noticeably glidey animations are Xenomorph, Demogorgon, to a slight extent Oni, Spirit, and I think that's it. Deathslinger's animations are fucking horrendous uh, in the post-game lobby anyway. They changed his post-game lobby walk cycle to some weird-ass beta animation from his actual in-game animations, which are a little bit better. But even then, there's still... Everybody fucking slides on the floor because it's misaligned, basically. And it's, it's all these little things that go through my head when I'm playing Dead by Daylight or when I'm playing Evolve. Because we'd lost Evolve, but we have that, and it's significantly lower quality. And as I said during the game towards the end, I would not sit here and slag Dead by Daylight off as much as I do if it was actually fucking decent. If it was actually detailed, if it actually had effort put into its animations, if it actually had atmosphere, if it actually had anything resembling atmosphere, animation quality that comes close to this fucking game, then I would not, you know, be slagging it off, basically. That's the whole reason behind the rants that I go on, and why it fucking hurts to see people cheering and going on about how it's a new game mode, it's fucking amazing, when they've literally just put a fucking filter over four maps, made it dark, turned the fucking music off, turned the perks off, and turned the lights off, the flashlights off. Which, you know, as I say, every time a new update comes out, something fucking breaks, so something gets disabled on the perk side or the, the flashlight side anyway, so it doesn't make a blind bit of fucking difference, as far as I'm concerned. It's just, it's, it's basically, maps were made darker, and that is it, but it's a new game mode. It's nothing that changes the absolute archaic and repetitive gameplay loop of running around in circles from somebody, or holding M1 on a generator. None of that has changed, it is literally the same thing, but you see less. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I don't know. I, I really don't. I, I can't, like, I, I can't wrap my head around it, how we fucking got to this point. And that sort of loops back to the boomer mentality that I'm slowly getting these days because I do think it is. It is the younger generation of gamers. And I do think a lot of the Dead by Daylight game uh, player base these days is kids. And that's not an insult. I just think it genuinely is. I think it is kids that don't actually know any better for what they could be getting. And behavior is taking advantage of that. To the point where it's, you know, they don't have to put effort in. But they don't anyway, because every time a competitor comes along, people don't give it a chance and it never gets off the ground. Or it's mismanaged TCM, for example, you know, when you're fucking starting fights on your social media with your consumers and making stupid fucking design choices and making very clear pay to win decisions from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, there it is. It's another rant video for you. I know that some of them, some people do like these sort of things, so there you go. It is an offload of thoughts. The end uh, screen being longer than the fucking game itself again. Um, but yeah, there it is. Thoughts have been dished out on that topic. We will move on and await what's, you know, what's next in the fucking sin bin. Anyway, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. As I say, you know, it was a Goliath game way back when in history. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully see you for the next one. <laughs> Bye.